Josh. Ooh. Yep, yep, exactly. Uh, and I'm ready to be eaten alive. I think it's already happened, right, Jeanette? He's tasty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's just say she's trying to give me some tips before we go on the air. And it's like trying to teach a uh, kid to walk for the first time. He's doing great. He really is. Yeah, Watch this amazing trick shot right I, now. I, I don't know. I don't think I can do this. Uh, I wasn't even holding the cue properly. I'm still not. I'm going to aim further out. I'm aim for, further out. OK, here goes. And you need a fuller swing. All right, slow back swing, nail the ball. Come on, baby. Oh, so I'm close. I'm trying to help him. So it doesn't close. want to go. Yeah, she Come can't on. Even, she can't even there. Go. Done. Done. I made one. <laughs> We're a team today. We're a team. <laughs> Sad horn. <laughs> People, uh, tell everyone why Jeanette Lee is in town, the Black Widow. Um, most of us that uh, even shoot pool casually have seen you on ESPN in tournaments. Why Bakersfield? What's, what's you know, are you on the I, national tour right now? Yeah, I really wanted to share my love of the game. There are so many people that play pool, and the American Pool Players Association has a league here, and they brought me here to just get everyone to think about, after work, come out and enjoy a game of pool. Have a beer, meet some people, um, just really have a great time sharing. You can get on a team. They have an equalizing system, and it's made for amateurs. The worse you are, the more important you are, because we're always looking for bad players <laughs> because, <laughs> to, because to come team, out and have a good time. A team and be, consists of five people, right? Right. A team. There's five people okay. on a team. You can have as much as eight. But you can't stack And you can win a trip to Vegas. You cannot stack your team. There's an equalizer handicap that your entire team cannot total more than 23. So each team has to have a, 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 we, a, a novice. They've got to have twos like and threes. They've got to have twos and threes. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> he would be perfect for the APA. So I think you can. I'd be like yeah. a one and a half. I wouldn't be, be a two. But, uh, yeah, but you come out. You come out to <laughs> all different places, and you get on a team. If you don't have a team together, they'll put you on a team, and it's just about you know playing eight ball or nine mm -hmm. ball and just enjoying yourself and getting up off the couch. It's a great thing to do. Now you were at the firehouse last night here in Bakersfield. How'd that yes, go? Yes, it was an APA Black Widow Tour event, and I come out. I do trick shots. I challenge people from the crowd. What I say is I like to break balls and make them like it. So that's what we, that's what I do for a living, is I keep it fun and real. And um, I'm very friendly off the table. <laughs> uh, who, who's, who's the man that nicknamed you Black Widow? Once Gabe again? Vigorito of the Howard Beach Billiard Club. He used to make fun okay. of me because he would say that I would lure my opponents to the table and eat them alive. But it was just a going joke. And I think people just could remember the Black Widow more than Jeanette Lee. It's but such a catchy nickname. It really I, is. I wear a lot of black, but you would know that because you're from New York too, right? Is I, that, or, I or have did, family there. I'm not oh, from you have, there. Mm -hmm. So you're not. You're I'm from not Little Bitty, Arthur, Illinois, where there's lots of black. I only the people wearing that. it are Amish. Yeah, okay. true story. As <laughs> most of us know, I know. No Here comment. you go, Rob. <laughs> I mentioned Arthur, Illinois already, and it's only five. 20 in the morning. <laughs> All right, guys, don't go anywhere. I'll be with Jeanette for the whole morning here on CBS. And um, I just hope she's gentle. That's <laughs> Good all I got to say. That. Hey, Josh, We're question work for you. Can I play yeah. slop? Can people play slop in this competition? Slop? Slop. Where it just goes slop. in any hole. I'm sorry, Linda. My, my audio is not coming through here. It sounds like you're saying sloth like the tree animal <laughs> or slots like a casino. Do you mean slots? Slop. Slop. S-L-O-P. The slop count. Does she play slop? I think that's what she's trying to tell me. To give him a chance, we will play slop. There you go. <laughs> All right. Or, or we can play sloth. That's a new game that was just invented. Yeah, the snails love it. All Josh, right, Josh. Thank listen, you. Listen, when we come back, Josh, I want to hear all about that body issue that she was featured in. It is there himself, Josh. What's going on? So you as long as good? you hit, the, uh, I'm doing as my long best. as you hit the center of the ball, you're good. But if okay. you hit the top, okay. with the leather tip, Jeanette's giving me, you know, pool billiards 101. <laughs> and I thought I was, I knew I was a novice. Um, novice doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of what I am around a pro like Jeanette. No, you're amazing. Oh, yeah. I have uh -huh. so much faith in you. Uh -huh. yeah. Watch how he shows <laughs> off right here. He's going to go ahead and hit that seven ball straight on. I'm going to blow it, Jeanette. Boom, I'm three balls it. in one shot. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh! That is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what makes that it so happened. fun. <laughs> um, that's just how good of a teacher she is. Jeanette, tell them, because this is what blows me away. Yes. Tell them and then you can show off. Yeah. Tell them what age you started shooting pool. And I want you to explain this because this gives 
kids out there hope, I think. Oh, because yeah, you're never too yeah, late yeah. to begin. No, I started playing pool when I was 18. That I turned pro at 21, and I was number one at 23 which was just one or two years ago. But I'm currently ranked third in the world. <laughs> I'm number one in the US, and it's awesome to be here in Bakersfield and I, share this time with you. That's amazing, because I've never heard of anyone starting something for, from scratch for the first time and becoming right. a pro three years later. That's phenomenal. There's definitely a level of dedication. I mean, no matter what my, you know, the thing that just kept going on in my head is every minute I'm not playing pool, there are other people playing pool. And as yeah. long as I'm playing pool when you're sleeping, eating, going out to a movie, having a you know, two hour dinner instead of a 30 minute dinner, I was gaining. And so I just, I really felt like the more time I put in above everyone else, I, it was inevitable. I had to be the best. So that's, it's you not actually true because you, you've got to put some quality behind that. You literally played 25 hours a day, didn't you? Eight days I a week. I literally did. I mean, eight, <laughs> eight, 10 days a week. <laughs> it was, it was, um, it was really an obsession. And I mean, I would, tape my hands with electrical tape, and I would be in the subways wow. practicing the alignment of my swing so that it wasn't crooked at all. And um, just really, and when I watched players, I watched how they walk, how they breathe, their tempo, their composure. I was very analytical and was staring at everything. Show us what you have right here. Okay. You're, you, 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 you're such a great teacher. I knocked in three, but these trick shots are so, so easy yeah, for Yeah, if you look at a slow back swing and a follow through, and nothing else in my body moves, my upper arm doesn't move, it's just this forearm. So we want to strike at the bottom of the swing. You're going to take a slow back swing, strike the ball, and follow through. Just like any ball sport, you're going to take a slow back swing and follow through. Here we go. Jeanette Lee, the black one. Just like it that. Makes it look easy every single time. Jeanette, we're already <laughs> almost out of time. Explain oh. why you're in Bakersfield, why you're touring. Uh, we really want to promote the sport. Right. I think if you go to BakersfieldAPALeagues.com, you will find out all the information about what we're doing with APA. That's the American Pool Players Association. You can also go to PoolPlayers.com. And just, just think about coming out and, you know, one day a week and having fun with a bunch of people, playing pool, having a good time. It's such a great sport. It's a great thing to do with your family, with your spouse, with your buddies, your friends. It doesn't matter. It doesn't uh, discriminate with age or gender or anything you can just go there's a national wheelchairs association and, and, and rob linda really quick as we close uh leagues they need novice they need beginners as well so you don't have to be right. as good as jeanette to right. join for anybody that's we're also right now, feel free to check it out Josh, like my listen. facebook fan page jeanette lee the black widow so Thank i can you. hear from you that'd be great we certainly yeah. will josh listen i've waited almost an hour now Coming up next hour, I need to hear about the ESPN body <laughs> issue. Please. Of course you do. When of do I get to hear about along. that? You know, we didn't, we're, there's too much going on. We run at a time each segment. Our producers are telling us to wrap, so we've got to go. Right, we'll try to hit next, next hour, segment, okay? 10 minutes on the body issue, I promise. Please. From the Black Widow, no, it is not a spider, but it is somebody who was featured in the 2010 edition of or ESPN's wait, Body wait. Issue magazine, Josh. It's the first time in my entire life I've been really happy to be around a Black Widow. Jeanette has been teaching me some Pool 101, which includes the proper way to break a rack. Always makes it look easy. All right, Jeanette. Lots of open shots now. Show us a technique there really quick. You know, you actually, because off camera, and I, I warned her, I was like, it's going to be like teaching a four-year-old here. It was pretty brutal, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I was doing this, and she's like, my technique's not wrong, my is all wrong. I'm like, eh, what am I doing? You know, and I noticed you actually went over to the side over here and, and shot it at an angle. Right. I think there's two major things that I'd like to express. First of all, every time you play, you want to make sure you chalk up. People don't chalk up as often, but whenever you put chalk on this tip, it allows it to get the cue ball to go where you want and doesn't squirt away. So chalk up more okay. often. All right. When you shoot, you want a level cue stick. A lot of people elevate the back of their cue stick. You want the cue stick as level as possible. And the other thing is, if you think about it as any ball sport, there's a slow back swing and a follow through. Okay. So when you're stroking, you want to take a slow back swing, pause, follow through. It's a pendulum. Yes. A lot of people go back and forth like a kind of a seesaw. <laughs> but you want to take a slow back swing and follow through. So when we, we start shooting, if you notice, instead of going like this, back and forth, back, forth, back, forth, you're going to see a slow back swing and a follow through like that. You aced geometry, didn't you? Oh, did. I probably did. She did. Yeah, she did. I think I did. 18 years old, three years later. She picks up at 18 years old, three years old, she's a pro. Jeanette, I have to ask you. Yes. Because Rob is so curious. Rob. The body issue. 
What what body issue? What? I don't think I don't, I don't think it exists, Rob. I, I don't even know. I should know what you're talking about. <laughs> I saw you know, her in it, Josh. To, to be honest with you, <laughs> I thought the idea of it was really, really beautiful. And in its context with all these other incredible athletes, it's an honor and, and it's an artistic, beautiful thing to, to look at I, and I to be it part is. of. Absolutely. And there was no one else in there except for the photographer. They, they helped get everything set up and I had my robe on and, and then, you know, everybody left the room and I felt comfortable. I was also five months pregnant at the time. Which, which is amazing. Know. That's fantastic. Yeah, so if you look close, yeah. you'll see a little bit of a, a, a prego <laughs> belly there. And they didn't Photoshop it out. I had lots of scars everywhere. I guess the real question the should surgeries. be, I mean, really, you're kind of, I mean, you know, female, the sexiest female athlete. Mm -hmm. Did you ever expect to get this much attention? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. And certainly not for as a sexy, um, you know, in terms of. Right. Because I'm sure that part of it is also, you know, what you look like or how you present yourself. And I'm just in incredibly competitive. I worked very hard at my game. And to get the kind of attention and meet the number of people that I've met. I mean, I've met Muhammad Ali and, um, I mean, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn and uh, Gina wow. Davis and Bill Cosby and... Um, Guys, she's Joe also Joe Namath. I mean, it's six. incredible. A mother of six, mother tours of around the country six. promoting the APA <laughs> billiards. I know she's she's incredible. She's <laughs> superwoman. Don't go anywhere. No. We have one more segment with Jeanette coming up, and hopefully we can also again plug the APA and, and for anyone to come out and start playing more pool. Yes, BakersfieldAPAleagues.com. Your form, Josh, by the way, is improving tremendously, and your stroke as well. I was watching you. Very good. Yeah, I have a long way to go. Thank you, though. You're very gracious. So. Maybe. Arc Widow this morning. Playing some pool, working on his stroke, Josh. Looking good. Yeah, I appreciate your graciousness, Rob. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I've i never been tremendously good at pool. My Uncle Rodney out in New Jersey, he's he's fantastic. Never beat the guy. Good old Clifton Billiards. Jeanette's actually Yes, player. yes. Jeanette's I played at Clifton Billiards. Jeanette's familiar any billiards in the country. I'm sure yeah. they're touring all over. Right. I, I spent some time at Clifton Billiards. Really? It was a great place to play, yeah. Tell me about what your experience has been. You turned pro at 21 years old. Yes. You've been ranked number one in the world. Yes. You're still one of the top ranked female athletes in the world. Yes, and gold medalists at the World Games gold medalists. for the U.S. That's right. Woo -hoo. What's your experience been? What's probably your, most, your proudest accomplishment? I would say winning the gold medal at the World Games. Yeah. I mean, to be on a platform where you see so many teams from so many countries that covers so many different sports. It was really incredible to get everyone to just stop and, and watch that U.S. flag be raised up. And so it was a really, really proud moment. And you've been branded, I'm sorry, you've been branded world's sexiest female athlete. <laughs> uh, is that like, are you just kind of over that already? Or you just kind of, you kind of embrace it? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm over it. I, you know, I have six children. I have, you know, my youngest are three and four, and I, uh, sexy is the last thing that's on my mind very often, and that's why I have to come out and, and do these APA Black Widow tour hey. events to keep my my ego up a little well, there, bit. There's something sexy about <laughs> Get playing Get all the pool, drool right? off, yeah. I, I, I should, it is, I should rephrase it is. that. There's something sexy about playing good pool. <laughs> it, it actually is sexy. It is sexy. It is fun. It's the thing to do right now. I mean, Something, why watch a movie when you can come out and play pool with people on a, you know, on a right. weeknight and a, even on the weekends? I mean, it's I just agree. a fun thing to do. I agree. What else is yeah. fun in playing pool? Although something novices shouldn't do, you say, yes. is jumping balls. Yeah, people are so interested in jumping balls. <laughs> I'm, inter I'm interested in breaking show me balls. How to, show but... me how to jump a ball. She's like, sounds like something a man would want to do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> show me the proper technique, if you sure. will, please, because I, I know I can't do it. I'll tell you what's not proper is a lot of okay. people do what's called scooping, right, oh. to make a ball. You can't, okay. you can't lift the ball off the side of your okay. cue. You want to make sure that you chalk really well. Okay. And all you want to do is a very relaxed hand. You're going to take a slow backswing and follow through, just like you would a normal now, shot, where, where you but you're gonna elevate. Okay. So if I'm looking down at the face of the clock, uh -huh. I can literally hit anywhere. So let's say if I hit low and I jump the ball, I can get the ball to come back. Whoops. I actually miscued. <laughs> <laughs> let's do that again. Live television. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I should shoot. My, I'm using my break cue. Yeah, it, it's All okay. Right, you're already doing 10 times better than I could. There you go. And you can even do this with an object ball. You can cause an object ball to jump also. Let's say you've got your opponent in your way. You can actually get the object ball 
to pop up as well. Jeez. I'm but this is something that. you're not going to practice at a bar. No. You're going to go to your friend's house, destroy their table. See, Jeanette? Because if you don't know what you're doing, it's easy to rip the cloth. So you Aren't won't. you glad that I, I asked you to do this for us? Because now we can explain how it's not the kosher thing to do in a bar. See, I didn't no. know that. Bars generally do not want you practicing jump shots. I wish I could do it. Jump shots, because it's now easy for people to rip the cloth. So you want to stay away from that. But what? really hope you guys uh, join me on my <laughs> Facebook fan page, Jeanette Lee the Black Widow. And you can find out more about APA at BakersfieldAPAleagues.com. Tell you about right. our leagues and what we've got going on. And and how you can become a better player and be part of a team. Lord knows I need to become better. But you can be a novice and still join a league. They need novice players to be part of teams. It's Actually, they're the most important thing because just by joining the team and being part of that camaraderie, you end up becoming better. You end up getting better. And so they're constantly needing an influx of you know, better amateurs, people that have never played pool sure. before. And it's great because there's no expectations. They already know you're horrible. You just stand there, be part of the team, root everybody on. Occasionally, you're going to get lucky and make a ball. It's going to happen. <laughs> and they're just going to go crazy. They'll be like, oh my god, you're so right? awesome. It means you can play slop, basically. Oh, right? absolutely. Rules are slop. It's all about just having a good time. Jeanette, it's the first time I've been proud to be around a black widow. You are. <laughs> Thank and you. you survived, Josh. You've been a very good study. Thank very you. good. It's been informative, guys, right? To say the very least. Very informative. It really very has, informative. Josh. <laughs> yeah, it's been a good I think time. We all I have need a lot to tips. learn. Josh, is Jeanette wearing the typical pool uh, uniform, I guess, uh -huh. there? Um, Jeanette. I know like, I'm thinking like Big Earn or Roy Munson. <laughs> You know, Jeanette, I think because she's the Black Widow, or she's the Black Widow because of this, you always wear black, right? Is that like your, is this like your, your get up I, when you play pool? You know, just being from New York, I started off wearing a lot of black, but it did become kind of part of my brand, and I'm very comfortable with it. Easy to match, easy to wear clothes, I'm comfortable. I do have other clothes in my closet when I'm <laughs> home, and you know, my kids, they'll buy me things, and uh, it just, it's just become part of the brand. It's not, there's nothing superstitious about it. If I wear a different color, it doesn't bother me She at looks all. great. Josh, she quickly, great. quickly, Josh, you're an Amish guy. Yeah. Does she like the movie Kingpin? <laughs> he wants to know if you like the movie Kingpin. It's totally random. Yes. Sure. Josh, I can't believe you didn't ask that. That's like from your homeland. <laughs> Well, you know, it's it's the Amish like to play pool, um, but they're not in Jeanette's category. Not even close. Not How do you know they close. like to play it's pool? Tough. Long story, Jeanette. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Thank I asked. You, Josh. <laughs> Thanks, Jeanette. Thanks, guys.